Uniontown residents are fed up with their horrible quality drinking water. WVOA 23's Bryn Caswell investigates what's causing the problem and how it should be solved. In Uniontown, Alabama, clean drinking water is a constant worry. The water here is not good. It's not good at all. Uh, there's, there's foul odors. Uh, most of the people do not use it for cooking. Most of the people does not drink it. The problem is with the town's current lagoon wastewater treatment system and the impermeable clay soil found in the Black Belt region. The volume of wastewater from residents and industries in Uniontown was not accurately accounted for by the Alabama Department of Environmental Management, which throws off the entire treatment system. When you have a spray field on something like that, it's constantly spraying water onto the field. That means that the clay is constantly swollen and you're, you're not going to get any infiltration. Soil that does not allow fresh water to infiltrate back into the ground stops the wastewater purification process from happening. Since the original lagoon wastewater treatment system in Sprayfield that Sintel Engineering built failed, many are questioning why are they rehired to build the same one over again? We paid that engineer for this last project 4.8 million plus and it's not solved. We would like for the city to get rid of them and choose another engineer that is willing to do things right. Clean water should be a civil right, but residents say they are unsure what it will take to get theirs back. We just want a fair opportunity, justice. Reporting in Uniontown, Bryn Caswell, WVUA 23 News. The Alabama Department of Environmental Management has released a statement confirming there's currently no funding for Uniontown to improve its wastewater treatment system.